Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hi, welcome to Apostolic Ministries. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. It's a pleasure to be here at this hour of the morning. I pray that you have prayed, you have already set the day with the word of God, that you have sought him, you have seeked him, amen, you have finding him, amen, wherever his dwelling place is, that's where we should be, amen. So we just give God praise this hour, we just bless his holy name, for he is the Lord of our salvation and he is the lifter and the covering of our head, especially in a day of battle. Father God, I thank you for those who are listening, Father. Father God, that they will have more grace, Father God, more favor in their lives, Father God, that they will have no lack, Father God, in the name of Yahushua. Father God, that you will supply their needs, all their needs, according to your righteousness, Father God, according to your loving kindness and your tender mercies, Father God, in the name of Yahushua. Father God, that they will repent and turn from their wicked ways, Father God, that they will admonish you, Father God, that they will acknowledge you through their praise and they worship Father God that they will know that you are the Lord of Lords and you are the King of Kings Father God I thank you that you supply all our needs according to your riches and glory in your son Yahushua Jesus Christ Father God I invoke the name of Jesus right now I lift up his name high Father God in the name of Yahushua I thank you for your mercies Father God this morning because your mercies are new your mercies are good every day Lord I thank you Lord that you are hope in you are our peace in the name of Yeshua. I thank you, Father God, that you will reveal, Father God, what is hindering us in our lives, what is hindering our soul not to prosper. Father God, that you will reveal the legal accusations that is in our life, that is in our bloodline, that is in our family tree, that hinders us to prosper in our soul. Father God, you will reveal the, that accusation that brings forth infirmity that brings forth iniquity, that brings forth so much unnecessary things from the spiritual realm. Father God, I thank you, Lord, that you're delivering us this morning. I thank you, Lord, that we are being held accountable, Father God, as we seek your will in this day, Father God. And we thank you, Lord, for your deliverance. Amen. Praise God. We just give God praise this morning. We just thank him, Father. We just thank the Father for all what he is doing and one of the things I just want to share with you this morning is that we need to prostrate and position our hearts before the father and acknowledge him first thing in the morning he should be acknowledged we should acknowledge him before we go to bed we should acknowledge him in the morning and we should acknowledge him throughout the day because Abba Father Adonai Elohim he is worthy to be praised we give praise unto the Lord we give thanks unto the Lord we worship him in spirit and in truth so we acknowledge him as we go throughout our day and I hope that you will acknowledge him as you go throughout your day now one of the things I was just praying was about the iniquity the bloodline so many of us may have affirmity that is in our bloodline we have affliction that is in our bloodline because of the iniquity and so one of the prayer points that I am learning to begin to speak out loud to be heard amen within my soul amen that father will Show me what is the legal accusation in my life that hinders me to prosper in my soul. Father, what is the legal accusation in my life, in my bloodline, in my father's house that hinders me to prosper in my soul? Now, when you begin to pray those prayer points, things are going to start happening. The affliction in your bloodline is going to be dealt with. The affirmity in your bloodline is going to be dealt with. The iniquity that is in our bloodline is going to be dealt with. When we inquire to God wanting to know, he's going to reveal the iniquity in our bloodline that brings the sin, that brings the affliction, and that also brings the affirmity. I pray that this teaching, this little small teaching I'm doing this morning will help you to begin to understand why things are 
just keep going around and round and round. Like life is keep recycling itself. Well, the reason why things are recycling itself in our lives, because we need to deal with the accusation. There is an accusation that is against us, against our families, mm -hmm, against our descendants. Mm -hmm. And we need to inquire of God and ask him, what is the right full legal what makes them right uh -huh. what makes that right what makes that legal accusation right for them to pursue us uh -huh. so i pray that you will begin to set yourself apart for cleansing and for repentance i pray that you will begin to understand why poverty keeps recycling itself in our lives I pray that you will be strengthened this morning and that you will not doubt, you will not have fear, you will not fear, amen, that you will have faith and you will have trust in your heavenly father, our heavenly father. I pray that you will seek the Lord and he will be found, amen, for the word says that we are to seek him, amen, we are to find him, we are to be persistent. We need to ask him questions. We, we need to know why this sickness and disease keeps showing up in our family. We need to ask him, why is it certain people in our family die at a certain age at throughout different years? You know, time, they call time release curses. There are time release curses, things that are just begin to happen. And it hasn't happened in over a decade or two decades, but now they're happening. We need to inquire of the Lord. We need to break those promises that the that our descendants, our ancestors made to the enemy. We must oppose them with the blood of the Lamb in the name of Yahushua. We don't know who's still actively working in our bloodline and working against the will of the Father. So we need to pray and ask the Father, what is the legal rightful accusation in our blood in our family that hinders us hinder our soul to prosper amen we must ask him father what is the legal accusation in my life that hinders me to prosper in my soul father what is the legal accusation in my life in my bloodline in my father's house in my family tree that hinders me to prosper in my soul father what is the legal rightful accusation in my blood in my family that hinders my soul our soul to prosper amen so father we ask you lord we ask you father god we come inquiring father god in the name of your son jesus christ yahushua hamashiach and i'm your host Jacqueline King, Apostolic Ministries. God bless you.